<laughs> you know, there are a lot of mung bean soda moments in life. If you don't try, you won't know. Unique experiences are often a product of risky choices. <laughs> Tell that to my mom. Her number one life lesson is, you can't turn back once you enter the sky. Pilots are always dancing with death. I know she's right. I know being a fighter pilot is an exhausting and dangerous job. But I still want to fly among the stars. To fight for the Sienjo Alliance across the vast galaxy. Why are you so dedicated to that idea, Miss Chingney? Have you heard of the Foxy and Birth Fate tradition? Soon after a child is born, we surround them with items that represent future destinies. If the child reaches for a Jade Abacus, then they'll grow up to be a Diviner. If they reach for a sword, then they'll grow up to be a famous warrior. And if they reach for a toy star skiff, No, not me. <laughs> My genius mom did. Mom reached for the star skiff and showed a natural talent for flying. General Jing Yuan recruited her to the Cloud Knights as soon as she was old enough. That's how she became a fighter pilot. Later, she achieved miracles. One time, she destroyed three beast ships in a hail of barissant anti-aircraft fire like an arrow tearing through a thunderstorm. She also holds the Skyfaring Commission records for speed and enemy vessels destroyed. I'm proud to be Madame Yukong's daughter. I've wanted to become a legend like her for as long as I can remember. I can imagine. A parent is often a child's first hero, and their image can influence their whole life. <sighs> she never told me any of those stories herself. And she hasn't piloted a star skiff since the third Denizens of Abundance War. She doesn't even bring up her military achievements. I used to watch her fly when I was young. <laughs> then one time, I stole a star skiff and I tried all kinds of difficult maneuvers. Turns out I was as talented as she was. Not only did I survive the flight, my landing was perfect. I remember feeling so happy when they took me to see my mom. There I was boasting about the flight, expecting her to laugh, pat my head, say that's my girl, or something. But boy, I've never seen her so scary. <laughs> I admit, I deserve to be punished. You can't let a kid get away with stealing a star skiff. But my mom was angry about more than that. She was angry because I viewed her as a role model. Because I had the same talent as her. I don't understand it. Parents never want their children to be in danger. I think I can understand, Madame Yukong. But flying is the only thing I want to do. I've already touched the sky. It's mom's secretary, Miss Sequay. She just sent me a message. Mom lost one of her trinkets in Stargazer Navalia when she came to save me. Miss Sequay suggested I find the trinket and return it to mom. Said it might help me get back in her good books. In Stargazer Navalia? Hmm. Let's go with you and have a look. Is it really okay to bother you two again? Uh. Uh, sorry, please don't mention the mung bean soda again. <laughs>